Alright, after that successful trip, we are finally going to head back to... Where are we? Well, we're going to head back to... Fulgore? Farago's Fineries? Farago's Forge? Blah! Alright. Check our gear. Fix some of it. sell his steel scale armor because he's gonna get better equipment from elsewhere. I don't mind transitions, but they should be a lot quicker, you know what I mean? We shouldn't have to wait so often for all that. Let's sell off these obsidian nunchucks, sapphire hand axe, platinum hand axe. Fix this broken spear. Um, going to sell that silver necklace and the steel brooch. Because we got better. Pardon my fast forwarding real quick, but I want to get through this as fast as I can. I'm pretty sure you don't want to just watch me dig through my inventory either. There we go, and a stout boost everybody's AC, let's go heal. Okay, everybody's made pretty good progress. The only thing left now to do is to... Well, we will buff back up, and... You know what I'm going to do? I am going to head back to the training grounds. Training grounds. Almost eligible on everybody. The only thing we need to do is hand in that artifact of neutrality and finish another dungeon and we should be good to go. To that end, let's cast Town Coral and go back to the city of Wildabar. I believe we also have an ancient artifact of good, too. Several of them, if I recall. Oh, come on, Wildabar, where are you? There we go. There's the exit. That's the armory, that's not the exit. See how good I do without my wizard eye? Okay, what we need to do is go to the north. Out the gates of Wildabar. Castle Free Rain. Alright. Head down here. And in these artifacts. I still have yet to look up what a Fizbin is. Um, gold ring. Ah, an ancient artifact. Good. That's where you need to go next. Castle White Shield. So we cast Town Portal. Oh, sorry, you can't cast them inside castles. Alright, then we cast Town Portal, and we head to the City of Baywatch. Back up, we head out. Cast the White Shield is just to the north. Whoa. There we go. No. And we should just head north too, and there we are. two artifacts turned in, everybody should now be eligible for training, we leave, cast town portal, and we return to Blistering Heights, and we camp for the night. Oh. 
and day dawns anew, and off we go to train. Come on, you need to tell me that Sir Canigan still is not ready to train yet. Ugh. Okay, and secondly, how do we get access to the Mages Guild here? I mean, don't we need to be a member to shop here for spells? Tell you what, give me a second to pause it. We could really use the spells we can get inside that Mages Guild. We save state it. Save our game. And I will pause it real quick. Oh, jeez, I feel really silly now. You remember how we couldn't unlock those treasure chests beforehand because they were too difficult for us to pick open? And I was complaining like, oh, where's the Mages Guild, you know, where's the Mages Guild member at? Where'd we go to train our spells at? Well, guess where we have to go, guess we have to do in order to be able to get membership into the guild. Yup, yup. We have to find the person who is inside of a chest and open his chest up. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how we do these things. That's how we do it. Yep, yep. I'm gonna save state again because these are always here. I have no idea why. Let's cast protection from elements. Cast it from the fire. And that should really help us out a lot against these. I don't care if you throw fire at us. When your silly fire attacks. Remember, our party has natural resistance to it as top of all the other stuff, so. Yes. Open the lid. Come on, don't tell me he's unable to pick the lock. Pick the lock, darn you. <sighs> Is there anything like a potion of thievery to unpick these locks? I don't know, I'm beginning to get a little exhausted over it, though. Let me take a look at this. Skill, thievery of 62. You should be perfectly fine. You should be able to pick those locks open, no problem. Got 51,000 experience. 5,100,000 experience in order to be able to get block open. <sighs> Tell you what, let me pause the game real quick again, people. I know where the mage is. You looked at him, you were just looking at the box he was in. Let me pause it again so that way I can try to find out a good way to gain thievery points. I'll be right back. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to just drop everything that we're doing and we are going to head to the Jousters, or er, to the... Well I, don't, well, I don't know what the exact name of the place is, but I'll show you where I'm going to go to. It's, called, it's a place called Knight's Point, and there's a dungeon there that has a Jouster inside of it. We, aren't, we don't care so much about the Jouster, we care much more about the two ultimate power orbs that stay inside of them. And once we grab those, we will make the game immensely easy for us. So what we're going to do, we are going to save our game here. We're going to cut the video short right now, and we will continue off later on. So we will save right here, and I will see you all in the next installment of our series when we try to go and... Get ourselves a whole crap load of experience points. I will see you later!